Welcome back to CompTech and what a treat today. I have worked on getting our permission to this house for over six months. This house was built by famous architect Francis Kennard in 1918. This house was built for John Lugwood Wilhelm Zeitel and it has six bedrooms with the downstairs floors being made of maple wood. Amazing. This house even had the maid's quarters out and back. Zeitlow, who died in 1922, was also the president of the Dakota Central Telephone Company. All right, here's what the phones would have looked like back during that time. And now Francis Kennard, who built the house, also has several locations on a historical registry, including the Polk County Courthouse, in several Tampa locations. What a treat today guys. We're going to metal detect with Brandon Carmichael. Now I first met Brandon briefly at the Florida Hunt 7. I could tell right off he was a cool dude. He loves being in the outdoors fishing and metal detecting so Brandon has come over from the St. Pete area. It's, it's about an hour and a half away and he's going to help me today at this house and we're going to find some items i'm telling you right now this is going to be one of the best videos of the year that i post check it out here we go what we got here it is it's a miniature is it a shotgun thing uh, uh, what is it it's a little like uh, it's almost like a long footlock pistol that is it is dude yeah, that is, is like sweet. old yeah, I'm gonna have to research that. I've never oh, seen one. It's, it's, uh, it's got a little heft to it, so I don't know if it's uh, iron or lead. But what that has got to be the wow. smallest, coolest little. So you can see all the details, the little oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to look at that. Boy. Man, that is cool. It looks like iron. It, yeah. The way, the way it's me. Congrats. First cool find of the morning. Very cool. Moving on. All right. This is before electrolysis. I put some low voltage to it, got it all cleaned up. And now you can see the detail. It just looks so cool. The best I can tell, it's around 1930 toy flintlock pistol. <clears throat> uh, another little old, or well, not too old, uh, penny eating up a bit. So solid signal, but that's all she wrote. So let's see what else we can find. Brandon's hooting and hauling. Let's see what he's got. I'm not going to get super excited, but it is a coin and I like oh, coins. So, sweet. cool. There was actually two signals. Uh, lower one was like around the high 30s, early 40s. Yeah. Um, this one was a little bit higher than that, but I figured I'd, I'm going to dig both Ooh, of them. I see it. Yeah, I see, see it right there. Yeah. So, I'm going to dig both of them just to see. Um, oh, no, no, not coin, shotgun shell. Oh, well, that's all right. But you know, a shotgun shell right in front of an old house like this is super yeah, cool. So let's see what we got here. Those. Yeah, it's all, oh yeah, absolutely. So I haven't seen one like this before. WRA company, uh, rival 12, and now it says number 12 on it. So yeah, that, 12, that yeah. means it's that's probably nice late 1800, one. early 1900. Yeah. Being that the house is early 1900, I'm guessing closer to that range, but again, we can date it. Nice. So awesome. So that that is always an encouraging thing when I find shotgun Heck yeah. shells. Can yeah. I just go back in time and think they're standing here blasting some Yeah, I know. That's or hilarious. whatever shoot. Right? So which is good. Nice. It gives us a time period. The house does, this does. Um Very so cool. cool. So it just means there's stuff here. Regardless yeah. if there's modern stuff, that does mean there are some old things here. We just have to slow down, uh -huh. listen really carefully, and, and listen for some good in-between signals, you know, and see if we can find some deep ones. So yeah, I had to follow up to Brandon's 12 gauge round with this. Looks like maybe a 38. I have to get it cleaned up and we'll take a look at it. There you go, guys. That's it. Oh, instead of the shell casing. <laughs> right near where I just found that other one. This looks a little bigger. All right, All right so looks like we've got just a dirty little penny eating up a little bit. So definitely a modern little zinc penny. So. What's an ink 
pin. I think the other half come off. It's right here. Something's right here. There it is, right there. Come off when I was digging it. Yeah, you can tell. That thing is barely on there. I wonder if that's a cross. All right, guys, we're going to take a short break. We got something to drink. And then, Brandon, I was at the Florida Hunt 7 last year. And this was the last day you found It was. This? It was the second day of the hunt, yeah. Um, it was at a different uh, location and uh, didn't know anything <laughs> about where I was hunting at. I just kind of went at it and some other guys out there from the what hunt. What is it for the folks that have so no idea? So it, uh, if you could see it, I'm going to pull it out. It's probably easier okay. out of this little, it's not going to hurt it. I found it's it. amazing. found it in the dirt, like it's about seven or eight uh, or nine inches down. So I mean, it's not, again, it's not going to hurt. It's, it's coin that was in the ground. It's gotten cleaned up it's, since. Yeah. Went through electrolysis and polishing a oh little. Oh my goodness. So it's a 1783 Spanish two real. That is just um, awesome. I didn't know what I was looking at when it came out. It was obviously a lot dirtier, and you can see some of the, the photos right. when I got it. Uh, I didn't know what it was, but I was excited because I had never found anything, any coins or anything in the 1800s. I'm with so you, man. I was I'm like, with immediately I saw this silver round thing. I'm like, what? What? And I get out of the hole, and, and I literally look at it like this, and I'm like, well, that person's not standing. It doesn't look like Liberty anything. I was yeah. like, what am I looking at? And I'm confused, and I'm like, I can't read the writing around it. I'm like, I couldn't even see the date, and I flip it over and I see that. And oh. My, it's, to me, it's like the most valuable thing I've found uh, historically. I mean, I found some other historical items, but this is obviously is like the oldest. And um, and I found it here in Florida. It's because it's my home. So I. It, hey, Gary. Hey, Gary. You busy? No, man. Looking for my hat. What do you got, brother? You got anything good over there, or you have a second? No, I'll come over. Some round like a coin. Right next to this big tree. Oh, I see something. Yes. Yeah brown right here yeah so uh yeah it's a coin okay sweet so uh, what oh dude look how thick it thing is that's not what a quarter is... what is this that is nice dude uh but it's like there's writing but i can't make it out gosh well, i can't wait to see that nice i honestly don't know what this is let me look. take a look at it that's it's cool look at it. it's raised up blind. that's interesting Thick like a quarter, but I don't know. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh. That's probably the nice thing I found. So you are, you are something. So I guess it's something to do with astrology. I guess I don't know. Pretty cool. Weird. So beneath. You'll take it, right? Dig it. Dig it. Dig it. Dig it. Dig it all. Dig it all. Oh, always finding it. Bolt. Oh. Oh, that's a ooh. Is it a ring? Silver, baby. No kidding. Is it a ring? I don't know. Oh, it's no, a thimble. No, it's a thimble. Yeah, which is probably a silver thimble. Look at these. Yeah, roots all brute bound in it. That is awesome. Oh, nice. All right, so it looks like he's got a little probable silver, I'm guessing, thimble. I've never found a uh, thimble. Nope, That's it. Man. I haven't either. Look, what's that say on the bottom? Because I've never seen one with writing. It looks like writing or something. Or is it a design? It looks like flowers. Oh, is it flowers? Oh, Check it out, brother. Man. Cool. All right, guys. Brandon and I just took another break. Got all hydrated. He's got some type of insect sting on his knuckle. His knuckles swelling up. Poor guy. Uh, but that's not stopping him, man. He's a beast. He's still going at it. So he's not sure if it's a spider or, or an ant or what. So. What did you say it was? Silverware? Yeah. Like a fork or something or a spoon? A spoon. Very nice. Look at that, guys. Look at the end of it. All right, guys, my first coin. I think it's a pity. Looks like it. Right there next to the wall, too. Just double check the hole here. 
Something else going off here. What is it? It's so hard to see. Something right here. Here you go, another penny. Look at there, two pennies next to the wall. On a roll. Two coins, first two coins. Penny. Let's see if we got any more. Well. Could have another one. It's in the hand. Do we? Yep, sure do. Another penny. Looks totally different than the other ones. Three pennies, golly. Come on. There's another one. Yep. See if we can get it in the hand. Yep, something in the hand. Let's see if I can feel it. Something right in here. So hard to feel, folks. Is that? Another penny. Four pennies in the same hole. There it is, another penny. Penny right with that paper clip. All right, I'll take it. Hey Gary, you there? Yeah, go ahead. I just went up to get something to drink. What do you got? Uh, come over to the other side of the house real quick. Devin. This sounds good, guys. Let's see what he's got now. Brandon moved over to the other side to work in the shade. So you've seen shotgun shells, yeah? Yeah. So this came out from, I don't know, what is that, like six, seven inches? Yeah, that's way down there. What is it? Oh my God. It says new, or yeah, new number four WRA Co. I don't know, I'll have to look it up. Good yeah. deal, buddy. Sweet, yeah. Awesome. It's gotta be old, I think. Pretty sure what Brandon found was a 1940s 37 millimeter flare. Probably shooting it out over the lake back in the day. Guys, it's out of the hole. Got a good target. Oh, I see it. It's an old key, not a skeleton key, but it looks old. It's got some neat design to it. It's got some writing, so I can pull that up on the internet. Gee, it's a car key. Just found that key. I'm getting a high tone up by this stump. And pointed it. All right, let's check this out. Roots. Guys, I just kept digging and digging, getting little signals, but it will all come together in just a minute. As I can tell you, I am shot now. I'm getting tired. There's also a lot of glass in this hole. Holy crap, that's deep. I gotta be careful with my hand. Oh, I'm hitting something. What is that? It's more glass. What is going on? What is glass everywhere? You gotta be so careful. Why is it beeping? About to find one of several of these little stakes that uh, were around this tree stump. What is that? What the heck? That's what's been beeping. But that's with the glass. Hmm. Huh. Something's still in there. Jeez. All right. I'm gonna turn the camera off because I gotta sit down. Oh boy, if I would have only known what was gonna happen next, I would have never turned that camera off. But the one on my chest, the battery's going dead. I've got another one on the ground and I was so tired, hot. This was at the end of the day, folks, for us. Uh, I was ready to call it quits, but I kept getting all these little signals and well, you'll have to see what come next. It's just unbelievable. Oh! Hey, Brandon! Oh! Yeah! 
yes. Dude, I got silver in a hole. Big silver. Big, big. Yes. Oh my God. I don't even know what it is. Hey, it's old, man. Dude, I was so tired. I was about to stop. There's glass in the hole. And I was about to give up. And then I pulled this, whatever this thing is. Uh, I don't even know what it is. Some type of piece of metal. And I did one more dig. Dude, you're going to be breathless. I'm dead serious. Look at oh, it. Oh, my gosh. I, I don't know what it is. I mean, oh, it looks old silver. Point, yeah. Probably. Oh. And there's wow. glass. Yeah, I'm digging up a bottle right now. I, I just tapped the top of it and saw the top of it. I'm like, oh, oh, my God. Dude, look. Is there multiple? No. Oh. Are you kidding me? Where's my fan pointer? Oh. oh. Let me look. Oh my gosh, it's. Uh, Do I got this on tape? I don't even know what this is. United, uh, it's a. Uh, it's a silver Morgan though? I don't know. Oh, oh, another, oh dude, they're, they're not done. Dude, if there's a mason jar with freaking coins. Um, just go ahead and pound it right now because that is yeah. <laughs> unbelievable. See? Guys, I was physically drained, now mentally drained. I couldn't even think. I just knew I had something old, big, silver. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, 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 look, look. Nails. oh, is it? <laughs> Yeah. That means, old, well, there's probably uh, something around this tree. Yeah, that, well, there's something some screw old. So this screws, is old, old. old. Yeah, these oh, there are, are, I need to see those. Yeah. Guys, I called Brandon over. This is insane. I cannot believe I just found two, that looks like two Morgan dollars, 1896 and 1884. Yeah. That is, and it was right Pre here by this. Predates the house. He predates the house and his old stub, and there were two uh, square nails, which, yeah. Yeah. and a glass, chunks of glass. My guess is they were in some type of a jar. I'm gonna try to get more glass out and put that together. Oh, I'm just so <laughs> excited. <Yeah. laughs> very, very Woo! I think she's got a bottle buried, so let's go check it out. Top of the bottle, right there. So Brandon's got a pretty sure bottle down here, and he's you've seen the different layers, of charcoal, a little maybe from a burn pit. Yeah, yeah, some some kind of. I'm trying to be gentle, but it's like. Oh, I see that. Right I see right there. What is that? That is nice. Oh, remove. Get it, baby. Nice. So there we go. That. Like Ooh, a little, there's some oh, metal there's, underneath it. See, is your metal there? There's something. Oh, I just rubbed what was left of the label, I guess. There's something on it <laughs> off. So it looks like there may have been a label, but you can see where it would be plugged up there. Yeah, that is no nice. Cord, no uh, screw top. Two feet. Look at that. 35, 37. Now it's right on the top, so. It's a little something there. Yeah, it's whatever it is is moving right now. Oh, what the heck? That thing looks wicked. I don't know what it is, but I'm waiting for Brandon. Mm, it looks like a hook pad, like a center hook. I don't know, man, oh, no. no, no. I think it's yeah, a fish. Yeah, it's like a fish. Dude, oh, there wow. is that's some cool. age to that. Yeah, Look at the old. green. Not, yeah, it's got patina on it. There's the other eye. It's interesting, that's a fish. Oh, I love it. Huh. I swear, I thought it was nothing, and I popped it up, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. interesting little finds in this little area. <laughs> I know. Dude. As it turns out, it's a fish ashtray and it cleaned up really nice. Now, if you notice on the tail, it is stamped the Grand Hotel Restaurant. Now there is a Grand Hotel, very famous, and it was built in 1887 in Michigan. And I just want to believe with my heart that that's where this come from. It's also the location of the movie 
a film called Somewhere in Time with Christopher Reeves. I thought I was gentle with it. Um, bottle number two with a just popped out there. It's a nice little handle. Um, again, I don't know much about bottles. Maybe I should because I seem to be finding all the bottles today. But uh, yeah, this one, I don't think this one's quite as modern as I thought the other one was uh, just now. Uh, this one seems to be a bit older. Uh, I don't know, it's hilarious how many bottles I'm finding around this property. Um, oh, oh man, now we got this one, that this is one, nice. This is the second one. I thought it was a Coke bottle at first because I saw oh. the top. But it's, I don't know if you can see how thick that yeah. glass is. It's a good like, I don't know, was that a quarter of an inch, half an inch? I don't know, it's really thick glass. Yeah. Seriously thick, so. All right, Brandon's calling me over. He said he found the key. Kind of matches the one I had, so let me go check it out. I probably got dirt all over my face. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but got an old, old key. Uh, it says GM on one side. Uh, it looks like Cadillac logo on the other. Uh, Gary actually found one, I think, over in this uh, in this area earlier. This is right by where he found his coins. So this one's gonna have to go with his coin, though, to or, I mean, with his uh, key to keep it cohesive. Key's got to stay together, right? All right, guys, I was dead tired. Just trying to cherry pick a few signals because honestly, I was tired of digging. And then <laughs> I get this hit. So let's check it out here. Probably a Richard Hudnut. I don't know, I love these things when you get them cleaned up. Beautiful. Look at that. All right, man, tell me about the bottles Howdy. you just found, buddy. All right, so found two more. This one, uh, I don't know, looks like an old knee-high bottle or something, not terribly old. Um, this one, I don't know how old that is, but it's super cool nice. with that little yeah. little finger uh, finger ring in there. So I don't know if it's like a syrup bottle or what that is, but uh, but you're getting your hit on something. So guys, guess what? <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Easy to guess. Surprise, surprise. What do you think I don't know? Uh, he's on another <laughs> bottle. Right. Well, let's cl let's clarify that I'm not intentionally going after bottles. I'm going okay. after the metal tin can or whatever it is right next to it, paint can or something. But it's uh, yet yeah, another one. His fifth one. Slightly concave in the bottom. That's one of the. Oh, that's. Oh, that's so funny. 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 funny I'm digging all these bottles. bottles. All right, so dug this little hole uh, right back behind the house, next to the little extra quarters here, um, and ring it up like silver. And of course, you know, a lot of stuff rings up like silver, but I finally got this one and got this out of the hole. I thought it, at first, I thought it was a modern dime, but then I kind of cleaned it off a little and saw that and saw a little mercury on the front. So Yahoo, uh, 1940 pretty little dime and I am super stoked about it uh, dug a lot of cool stuff today but this is my first silver and I am proud so thank you thank you Gary for yeah, inviting me out I appreciate Absolutely, that man. It's been a pleasure. yeah I really appreciate you having me come out because it's even though it's a little drive it's, it's been a blast totally been a blast a uh, piece of like felt like a rock or something it was like inside of it and i was yeah. like <laughs> i was like yeah there's definitely got to be a coin or something but it was yeah. hard breaking it open but i finally got it broken in 1956. so that was oh, the same weedy. hole same as, hole as the, the dime th nice yeah literally it was it was down a little bit to the right of where i found the Sweet. dime at so that's cool i knew there had yeah. to be some old coin. That's a wrap for the day. Brandon and I had a great time. A couple other items I found was this old fuse and then these two vintage fuses. Folks, if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and liking the video.